Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good morning, Geneva. I'm Rachel Bryza. And I'm Taylor Bolzer. Coming up on today's show, we will tell you how all the spring sports have been doing these past few days. And there's a few games tonight. We will let you know where and when. And we also have some announcements that you may have missed, so stay tuned because GTV News starts right now. Welcome back, Geneva. Here are your morning announcements for Thursday, May 2nd, 2013. Members of French Honor Society need to be finishing up their participation hours within the next six weeks. See Madame Bello, Madame Cabine, if you need any ideas. Vive les Français. National Art Honor Society meets today in D163 from 3 to 4 p.m. Come and show your artistic side and have a relaxing Thursday doodling or maybe painting. Geneva's most promising senior creative writers were invited to compete in the first annual Write Club against students from Lyons Township High School. In this, two opposing writers argue two opposite ideas, and the audience picks a winner. The seniors who have volunteered are Becca Grishow, Cole Downey, Bob Tomaszewski, and Alex Termont. This event will be on May 16th at 7 p.m. And as an extra bonus, all proceeds of the event will go to charity. If you would like to avoid end-of-year lines, then you should return your empty... You should return your textbooks and novels to the ca textbook cafe on either Tuesday or Friday. When we come back, we'll tell you all you need to know about the faculty bike ride, and we'll have all of your highlights from a great week of Geneva sports. So tell me, what would the ideal senior faculty bike ride be like? Semi-apocalypse. Candy Ooh. bike ride! Candy! Yes. Oh my God, candy! What, like... The, the road could be made out of like like gummy bears and like and like chewy and the jelly trees. Beans. Those are my favorite. The trees could be made out of candy bars yeah. and Twizzlers. <gasps> what? Oh. what? What would the bikes be made of? I'm assuming they'd be made out of candy. Oh. Whoa. It's not complicated. Senior faculty bike ride Saturday, May 11th, 10 a.m. Millray Cyclery. Over the summer, Geneva is offering classes for half and fourth credits. More information and registration forms are available online at www.geneva304.org slash GHS. Forms will also be available in the Counseling and Advising Office. Registration will be closed on May 30th for Session 1 and on June 24th for Session 2. The ACT and Drivers Education have earlier deadlines. With prom quickly approaching, the faculty and staff wants you to remember that safety comes first. days I have are those when I wake feeling close to you and everyone here knows that I want you beside me but sometimes I wake up and I throw away the things that I learned yesterday Boys volleyball game today is scheduled for 5:30. It's senior night, so show some love towards our senior boys as they take on South Elgin. Here's your Viking sports update. Geneva baseball won 10 to 4 yesterday against Larkin at home. The boys lacrosse team came up short yesterday in the match against Naperville Central, and the Ultimate Frisbee team won their match 
against Nico B, 8-7, with a score deep into the end zone for the game-winning point. Great job, boys. If you're looking to stay... Okay. <laughs> um, well, before we leave, we have, three, we have three things before we go. Tonight is senior night for boys volleyball, so come on down to the contest gym at 5.30 to support the team. The faculty bike ride is currently scheduled for May 11th. And don't forget to start turning in textbooks so you don't get stuck in the big end of the lines, the big end of the year lines. That's and that is all the news we have for you today, Geneva. Don't forget to send in your pictures for the closing capture. And I'm Rachel Bryza. And I'm Taylor Bolzer. Have a great day, Geneva. I'm just saying it's fine by me if you never leave. And we can live like this forever. It's fine by me. In the past, I would try, try hard.